Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wolf here. Sorry I can't be in class today. Um, so at this point you should have finished the unit eight stations, uh, one through five, and just turned in one of those unit eight station packets, just one per group, but everyone's name on it. Um, and at this point you should have also completed the pre-unit evolution questionnaire. If you haven't done so, make sure to do so. Um, where we're at right now is you should be click, have clicked on this video and you're watching this video now. So we're gonna just take a couple notes and then the last thing I want you to do is just click on this link and all you're going to do is just enter in your height. All right. Uh, so let's just get some terminology down on, on, on our unit on evolution. All right. So let's just start off with what is evolution. So there's a bunch of boxes on page one. We're actually only going to complete two today. So when we talk about evolution, all right, in the broadest sense, evolution is just merely change. So evolution is specifically how populations of species change over time. All right. So it's not like an individual organism, right? In Pokemon, Charmander uh, evolves into Charmeleon who evolves into Charizard, but technically that's not biologically accurate. We would rather say that Charmeleon grows and develops into Charmander, grows and develops into Charmeleon, who grows and develops into Charmander. All right. When we're talking about evolution, we're talking about not just one individual, but the whole species over a period of time. And usually it's over a long period of time. So let's just look at a really simple example. Here we have a uh, population of elephants in 1930 and we've noticed that there's a different amount in terms of their tusks right less tusks so the population has changed evolution has occurred however these elephants 1930 are probably no longer around right and so now these elephants are their offspring or their grandchildren elephants right and so again it's not these like individual elephants that are changing it's the population over time all right um and so when we're talking about a population of a species, what is a species? So a species is a group of organisms that can reproduce with one another to create fertile offspring. All right, let's look at an example that'll help with this definition. So are horses and donkeys the same species? All right, you take a horse, you take a donkey, and they mate, and what you get is a mule. So it says a species, a group of organisms that could reproduce. It looks like it fits that definition. Horse and donkey could reproduce. Um, but it's in order to create fertile offspring. So what does fertile mean? It means that though their offspring could also produce other offspring. So a mule can't mate with another mule or even another horse or another donkey. So we would actually say horses and donkeys are not the same species. Yes, they could produce offspring, but their offspring are not fertile. And that is our technical definition of a species. Thanks for watching everyone.